Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Thursday. It's uh, like 20 after 7, and we are. We had to get up at 6, shower, shave, get all ready because we're going into town. And it's called Marong. And I uh, get to see Cu Cuban life as it really is, as opposed to Cuban life at a resort. What? Yeah, and then it's part. Of, it's a whole tour thing. We're not just being dumped off. I keep thinking we're gonna be being dumped off in the town and got to fend for ourselves. But uh, yeah, it's been going to a rum factory, cigar factory, and a few other things. Are you ready? Let's go. So this is the style of bus we're going to be taking into town, which is better than the uh, the double-decker thing. Very rocky all the way. All right. Thank you. Let's go. So it's 10 after 10, and one of the things I didn't know uh, that we went actually right through Maron, Maron, and we are now at a ta uh, the tobacco plantation, and they're going to show us uh, how to make uh, cigars. This is all tobacco in there for cigars. It's all being grown. It's all been protected, I guess, by this mesh. That's why today we are going to know a little bit about coffee and cigar. Because as you can see, this cigar is covered, okay? It is not exposed to the sun. Why? Because we plant two different uh, cigars or two different uh, leaves, okay? The leaves that are going to be used for the uh, filler of the cigar, la trip and fancy, okay? And the other leaves in the outside, okay? This cigar that we can see right here, okay? The cover um, leaves are the ones used for the, uh, the best leaves, are the best leaves and are the ones used for the exterior of the cigar, that is the, the grapper, okay? Oh, look up. Oh. It's like bats. <laughs> mm, it smells great. We need to add some water, okay, to the leaves to eliminate some impurities, okay? Some uh, maybe uh, insect. Here in Cuba, the coffee that we produce, okay? Uh, it's mostly Arabic coffee, okay? Arabic coffee. And this coffee, this is Arabic coffee, okay? So unfortunately, uh, we're not in the crop season for coffee, so none of these trees have beans on them. But it looks like these are small plants getting ready to be planted somewhere else. Got the little bag of soil, coffee plant, then they grow into something that looks like it's about nine feet, eight to nine feet high. So just in case you don't know or never knew how tall coffee plants grow, or well, at least this variety, they grow. Oh, that one over there is probably like 12 feet. So it vary in size, I guess, depending on how they snip them and it looks like they do cut them to shape them the way they want. My first countryside Cuban coffee. We're waiting for the next one. 
fantastic. So you crush up the beans in the water and then you filter oh, okay. it? Oh. Gosh, Sugar cane sugar? Brown and white sugar. You choose. From your sugar cane? So do you think it's your sugar cane sugar or? No, just sugar. Just sugar. sugar. Yeah. All right, here we go. Strong. Okay, I'd like to have tried it without the sugar. Although it seems like all the Cubans put sugar in it when when somebody refused the sugar, she was like, "Really?" But uh, yes, yeah, half decent coffee. I could drink that every day for sure. I bought a cigar for later, and they're two dollars or two pesos for the big one, and then they have one that's skinnier than this. It's right there, and they're a dollar or one peso. So I'm gonna get him to cut mine. I'm gonna smoke it later. All done at the tobacco factory or farm, I guess. And now we're now we're off to, possibly to the crocodile after lunch. So I'm not sure what we're doing next. I'll let you know. We are now in the town of Marron. Gracias, senor. Toronto. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, so as soon as we uh, got off the bus, we were inundated by locals trying to uh, put hair, flowers in Carol's hair, and they want money. One woman wanted to buy my hat, and uh, he just had to keep saying no glasses. We're just led into the store where everything's made out of spoons and forks. Check that out. It's a cat. $120. Probably convertible pesos, I'd imagine. That's really cool. Carol. So nice. There's tons of souvenirs. Uh, some of the, um, I guess the, the panhandler type people, they're like, some of them are really pushy. Some of them, as soon as you say no, <laughs> then they move away. But some of them like get a little bit, a little bit pushy. But uh, other than that, so far so good. Lots of stuff. Oh yeah. One of the main things I'm looking for is uh, a fridge magnet that we bought last year and it fell off the fridge and smashed on the ground into like three pieces. We could have glued it together, but we couldn't find the third piece. So we want to replace that from two years ago. It might be here. We saw some things that we've bought in the past. The magnet, jam, bracelet. This is 10 pieces for five. Five? 10 pieces. So we've had no luck looking for the one that we broke, but uh, we ended up getting like a Keo Coco. One pesos or five for ten. Gracias. Time to grab a beer, hon. Okay. Let's go in here. So there's a place down here. There are a lot of drinks, but not crystal. And I only want a crystal. So we gotta find a place that sells cerveza. Maybe this cafeteria? Yeah. 
Crystal, por favor. Uno cerveza, por favor. How much? Let's two, dos. Muchas gracias. Oh, I know a lot of people there. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> there are sometimes you can cross the road really easily, like right now. And then earlier, I think we almost lost five to six Canadians. Our bus is back to pick us up. We are welcome to Rancho Alma. And that's where we're gonna be having lunch. Looks like this possibly could have been a stop off to pick people up for the train. Let's just see what's on tap. Apparently there's uh, a sugar cane drink with rum in it. That costs extra, but you get one free drink and that could include beer, water, or pop. So let's upgrade. This is a sugar cane based okay. favorite beverage, and then they have, uh, and then they'll top it up with some. Of course, it's going to taste like sugar cane. You're going to get all rum at the top. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's just kind of sweet and bland at the same time. Stir mine up too. Cheers. I have one hand. But you got to take that one. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that is good. It's almost almost like honey water. A honey water or just like uh, maple syrup without the maple flavor. This is the machine that's crushing it. That's what I got so far, and I have to get my drink. Hola. 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 No Cristo? No, Bucanero, Pineapple, Lemon. Survey supper for work. Gracias. Pork? Pork? Uh, chicken. Chicken, yeah. Pollo, right? Pollo. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Yes. Five potatoes. Potatoes, rice. So there's my lunch. So when you come here, they give you uh, your lunch. Oh, and they had um, rice pudding and they had uh, cinnamon you could put on the side or on top. And that tasted really, really good. And then after that, you can kind of come to this bar area and they'll serve you multiple of drinks and other beers. And of course, they have crystal here. No. Uh, Python. Santa Maria. This snake is a Santa Maria? Yeah, Cuba. Is a Cuban snake? Yeah. I forgot to mention at the end of this, uh, you get a bottle of rum and a cigar. One of the things I learned is uh, a lot of the people that have homes will plant banana trees in their backyard because uh, it just keeps yielding fruit, I guess, all year long, I guess. And uh, so they'll plant a bunch of these trees in their backyard and then they just have food and they, they either eat it straight off the, the branch or vine uh, or cook it or put it in other foods. So that's an interesting fact I never noticed. I, I saw that people had trees in their in their backyard, but I know that they like purposely do that just for that extra amount of food. Now it's on to the crocodile place. The crocodile on the shore. There's one right here. There's one right here. They're pretty much everywhere. One, 
You're teasing him. Oh, got it. Oh my, lunch. Crocodile tooth. Yes. See. Elio Casal. Yeah. Yeah. Cocodrilo. Mm. Americano. Lizard. This is iguana. Iguana. Yeah, this is a The Cuban. Cuban iguana. Yeah. Huh? Uh, beautiful. Magnifico. Red tail hawk? Red tail hawk. See? I have them in Canada too.